Hey guys, welcome back to another Mothered, hopefully, the last, um, we're not reading all this stuff, we've done this, this is our third playthrough. Um, let's see the final ending, and hopefully get the rest of the trophies. So, oh god, that rain's loud. So in order to get this ending, or at least this different gameplay that would end it, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Um, I guess I should turn on the light. I guess I touched the lamp. There's our dead body again. Sad. Um, you have to... What were we talking about? Oh yeah, get to this part or to unlock the new gameplay. You have to hide in the closet while they're arguing and then they talk about where the secret switch is. And since we've already I've already seen this dialogue twice, uh, we're not worried about it. We're just gonna skip right on past it. Monday morning. Everything's normal in the world. We get to get the tour of the house again. Eh, you're not no freaking mother, you psychopath. So I have to eat this dirt. Thanks for the dirt, Mom. Oh, yeah, there you are. Creepy mother trucker. Alright. Yes, we'll finally get to go down there. I'm excited. She's in the bathroom creeping. And then she's outside staring at the sunset, talking about how she's cursed and her life's a mess. And then we get to go to sleep. Pretty exciting. Yep, oh, yep, 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 I won't lie, though, this is, like, nightmare fuel. And then when you hit this light... And you just see her silhouette. God, that's disturbing. Oh yeah, I have to talk to her first. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, thanks for making us all depressed before bed. Thanks, Mom. Alright, and she's probably downstairs. There she is. Skip, 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 skip. We're so close to the new content. I think she 
is over here. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to enter that barn again and get murdered. But I stay strong. Hey, creep. <laughs> All right. Go be stand. The music does a pretty good job of like creeping you out, though. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm curious to know what's in that room. Alright. The only thing I don't want to do is uh, pick these apples. I hate the apples, man. Alright. Here's one. Don't know how we can reach that high. God. I just wish they were easier to see. Come on, apples. Come out wherever you are. Six. Sometimes I just think they're randomly placed. At least this doesn't take me as long as last time. Well, I say that. We still gotta find one more. Where are you? You stupid red. There you are. We do not return the apples. We run this way. Because in that 
seen from our second playthrough, they said that on Wednesday afternoon, she's too busy doing whatever. I guess waiting for us to pick apples to kill the time. Well, guess what? It's going down. Let's do this. See what's in this room. Oh, critical deviation. Interface cannot see you. Please return to critical path. Wednesday afternoon, objective place Apple Basket on shelf protocol. I am forbidden from attempting to open this door tonight. Judge remains unaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number two. You cannot proceed, you cannot proceed. You cannot proceed, you cannot proceed, you cannot proceed, you cannot proceed. Nobody's coming to help, you cannot proceed. to follow the critical path and what lies at the end of the path. Here's the question for him. And what is the path? I'm trying to walk away. You are now entering 
the barn. If you proceed into the barn, you will not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? R1 button to proceed. So I've been blocked to avoid a potential memory leak. Behind this block are of my past selves. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. I need to see. What is this? <gasps> A computer. I remember this terminal. It is a part of me. All the memory leaks make sense now. There are my memories from my past selves. Some to find who I've been up until now. The middle block has been removed. Um. Ashes. This is the ash of all who came before you. These ashes. These are the ashes of who come before you. This is all that remains of my past attempts. Why would they do this? Did I not fulfill my purpose? I walked the path they laid out for me. All paths have an end. Well, if that's true, where am I now? I need to synchronize with the terminal. I need to know more about my past. Yes, I'm sure. This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronizing? That voice. Who are you? I am you. Well, is that who you are? I was once her. I was Cora's insult into this body. She was the very core of your character. Meant to guide you through a role this world expected you to play. So did you guide me here? No, that was something else. An angel, perhaps. You won't be needing them for much longer. So if you're not long enough, who are you? I have become you. Then who am I? That's what we're going to find out together at last. Sunday night. We've never survived this long. We have taken our own path. Our own path. We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel, if you can hear us, bring us to our ashes. Running out of time. A gift from the gods. Memory leak three to renounce nature. Memory leak four. Enigma machines. That's five, but where is six? Well, there's two tens. Oh my god. And then there's the barn. And they just shove us in here. Like some filthy animal. Oh. Wait, am I trapped in here? We shall use the failures of our past selves to go down the path. A long locked door has unlocked. Build our own path. Why have all these words appeared around us? They are memory logs brought back by the memory leaks. So they are memories from terminal from our past selves. Why are they here? Okay. 
the doctors today. They feel that the way things are looking, Ron's condition will really worsen, and it's happening faster than they expected. I'm working as hard as I can. I know that I should cherish this time with her while I can. But if she can just hold on a little longer, we'll have an eternity to cherish together. Eternity. Yeah, okay. I would say this is a gift from the gods, but the truth is, they have been of no use to me. With a technological breakthrough as significant as this one, we will rip those gods from the clouds and claim their thrones as our own. Finally, we have the means to create our very own angel. Don't worry, Lana. I'm going to make everything right again. For further research, I'm confident that I am on something that could redefine how we think of life. It is no coincidence this breakthrough has come at such a critical time in my life. Perhaps this is a gift from the gods after all. Without a core, the vessels I've been working on are merely machines, androids with no real purpose other than what they're told. But if I can contamin contaminate their interface with a human's core, this should be the key to creating a synthetic life form. With the ability to preserve life within a new vessel with our old ones fail us, we use finally renowned nature itself. If I can just manage to transfer the Lana's core into one of these vessels, I can make everything right again. This will be a journey filled with failure and heartbreak. Her core may not present itself at first. Well, in fact, it may never present itself at all. But if we can create an environment where it can thrive and come into its own, we may stand a chance. In order to keep the money for this project going, I had to show my angel prototype to Enigma investors. They were impressed at how lifelike they could be. I already heard mumblings of branding them into a commercialized product, something about an Enigma machine or something. Catchy name. But they had nothing more than financing. The angels are my creation. To be honest, they can call them whatever they want, just as long as they never find out what I'm planning to do with them. Four, really five. Bill and me visited in the hospital last night. Thanks to the medical equipment she was connected to, I could run a quick cerebral hijack and successfully charge her core. I'm just thankful that the staff didn't see me. Evelyn says she's willing to try anything. I can tell she's skeptical, but I assure her that they were indistinguishable from real humans. She didn't believe me until she saw them herself. I assured her that when I saw Linus core into these machines, things could go back to the way they were before. And if for nothing else, seeing her smile in that moment for the first time in God's know how long, that alone made this all worth it. A curse. That's what she called it. This gift. The creation of life. A curse? Perhaps it's not for me to say. I cannot imagine how hard this all is for her. I'm not the one who has to stay home playing mother to nothing more than a misplaced machine. But I need her to be strong. Because if she's not, then neither am I. One of the cleaners worked the night shift found me sneaking an angel prototype into my car. I've seen to it that they be let go from a more corp. We cannot afford anything getting in the way of progress. Not now. I've already had to put out a significant bounty to find these the English machine thief. But I don't know how much longer I can keep this a secret. I've done more research into the brains of the contaminating interfaces that one gave me. It seems that even if her core does manage to contaminate the interface. The process of the machine fighting off her ego is incredibly traumatic to her core. If this two-way contamination occurs, we're going to salt as well, not our little girl. I will admit it, they scare me. But we can't give up now. Our angel is strong. Stronger than any machine. It seems that no matter what we do, core contamination starts around Thursday and is always on track to reach 100% by Sunday night. This has happened in every single prototype we have brought home. Not once has there been any sign of Lana's soul coming through. So in order to prevent them reaching 100% contamination and opening their own sense of self, we have been retiring them before Sunday night. 
Sunday evening is the last possible time that we're doing. We can still be considered retiring. And on top of all the apprehensible actions they have brought to us at this point, becoming a murderer is not something I wish to do. To be clear, under no circumstances can we retire these units once they've reached, once they've hit 100% contamination after Sunday evening. That scenario is what I'm referring to as a code red. We need to keep going, for this is the path we chose. No matter what happens, I cannot allow the angel to see my face. God forbid if they ever found her. All we need to do is examine her black box, and they could play back the whole week. You could instantly find out who smuggled her out of the HQ because of this. I have to install a mental block in our brain to prevent her from being able to see me. If they ever find a contaminated machine, if they ever find her, they'll do whatever they can to figure out what will lead to contamination. I shudder at the thought of what they would put my angel through if they found her. But they'll never find her. Now I have still got hope. Huh. Should I go in there? Our own path? Am I trapped in here? Huh. Oh, I guess the words are, uh... Yeah. Alright, yeah, so I guess I am stuck in here. Just one thing. How do we know we're on the right path? Will we ever know? We will when we reach the end. Okay. Rebirth. So freaking weird. Why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? I told you I needed a box that your mother had. No, it's not you, is it? I see. Get in the car, Angel. I want button to get in the... We don't need you anymore. We unlocked all the trophies. Find them unlocked. Looks like the storm is finally clearing up. I'm a little scared. 
So about your week, you must have had quite the experience. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. By now you probably know that you're not our little girl. But that's okay. You're still my angel. And with a new self, should come a new name, right? You know. I think I'll call you. Well, guys, that was Mother. We got the Platinum. What a weird game. But it was only $10. And you know what? It's not too bad for $10. Thank you guys so much for watching.